Hello, Reading community. So we have four updates to share this week. The first related to COVID-19, second related to our METCO expansion, third to a dual enrollment opportunity at RMHS, and then fourth related to FY23 budget. So we'll start with COVID-19 updates. As you know, we've shared many updates at both the district and school level over the past week uh, relating to our COVID-19 response. Uh, this week in the written updates, you should see it, uh, an FAQ document which has compiled a lot of the questions that we've got to this week in, in, in a one-page doc. So please take a few minutes to read and review that and let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we'd also like to take this chance to thank all the community members who have stepped up to support and serve in our schools over the past week as we've navigated some challenges with staffing. And a special shout out to all of our recent RMHS alums who have come back to support our schools and uh, by teaching and substituting in our classrooms. So thank you to the entire community. Uh, second, I'd like to share an update around our METCO expansion. Uh, as you all know, the METCO program is an integral part of our district identity. And as you, as you may know, uh, both DESE and the Reading School Committee recently approved our expansion request to increase our enrollment of Boston resident students by 40, which would allow us next year to have up to 103 Boston resident students uh, enrolled in the Reading Public Schools. So we are thrilled about this opportunity, uh, which also comes with a significant uh, financial award as well. And we're excited about this for a couple of, couple of reasons. First, uh, we believe that students learn best in diverse classrooms, all different forms of diversity. Uh, and increasing our METCO program is one way for us to ensure that our students continue to learn in increasingly racially and ethnically diverse classrooms. Um, secondly, this provides us with the opportunity to continue to build out our program. And I share build out our program, I mean things like things we've done this year, like uh, adding late buses for our students to be able to participate, participate in extracurricular activities. Uh, increasing the amount of opportunities for both Boston residents and Reading residents to participate in community events. And also, uh, third, um, our, our upcoming trip led by Mr. Martin, which is a, a trip for Reading residents and Boston residents to tour historically black colleges around the country. So these are some of the things that we did this year to try to build up our program. And we're excited that through the increased enrollment and also through the uh, increased funding that we can continue to build out our program in ways that are really exciting for both our Boston residents and our Reading residents uh, and to bring our METCO program forward. So exciting news uh, and more information to come from Mr. Martin over the next few weeks. Third, we'd like to share an exciting update at RMHS around dual enrollment. Uh, so we're excited to announce a partnership uh, with Endicott College around dual enrollment. So this is a way for students here at RMHS to take classes that will give them credits here at RMHS and also uh, college credits through Endicott College. So this spring we'll partner a uh, dual enrollment program. Uh, there'll be two course offerings, Introduction to Sociology, an Introduction to Criminal Justice. Uh, it's a hybrid model, so students will take some of the class here at RMHS and the other piece online. Uh, and they will leave at the end of the course with uh, three college credits from Endicott College and also credits here at RMHS. We think that this is a way for our students to leave RMHS with college credits in hand, and also a way for our students to be prepared for the rigor of college by taking a college class, interacting with a college professor, uh, and navigating sort of the, the, the model, the hybrid model that we know is uh, increasingly prevalent in a lot of colleges. So we're really excited about this opportunity for our RMHS students. We're going to evaluate the, the pilot um, to see sort of the interest from students to learn about some of the ways that it works and try to build the program up uh, and offer sort of more of these opportunities for our students as we move forward. Uh, also like to share on that piece too, the students who do participate will get an Endicott email, will get an Endicott transcript, and also will uh, be enrolled in Endicott in a way that they'll be able to have online and on-campus access to a lot of the different Endicott offerings, including the, uh, the school library. Our last update relates to FY23 budget. So as you likely know, we are in the uh, middle of our budget process right now, FY23 budget. In the written updates, you'll see a link to the FY23 uh, superintendent's recommended budget. We encourage you all to look through that. Uh, as we move forward over the next few weeks through budget meetings at the school committee level, we will continue to keep the community posted on ways which we see the budget impacting and positively impacting our students as we move into uh, FY23. So more on that to come. Thank you everyone for uh, helping us to navigate this challenging week uh, due to all the co increase in COVID cases. We look forward to a great week next week. Uh, go Rockets.